Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about UDP. So UDP is a connectionless transport layer protocol and it's very simple. So UDP is actually a no frills bare bones uh, approach and it's an internet transport protocol. It's a best effort service and as a result UDP datagrams could you know, get lost. They could be delivered to the application out of order and it's connectionless. So as a result there is no handshaking between the sender and the receiver. By that, I mean that no messages are exchanged between the sender and the receiver before actual UDP datagrams, are, or sorry, UDP segments are sent. So you, the sender just decides to send whenever it wants to. So UDP is very simple. It does not provide any reliability. So packets could get just, or UDP segments could just get lost. So where is UDP used? You, one example is UDP is used in DNS. UDP is also used in DHCP as we, uh, as we saw. When you are st streaming multimedia traffic, for example, videos and uh, uh, do audio communication, UDP is also used there. So how, can you, you provide reliable data transfer using UDP? That's a question. Of course you could do that, but then UDP does not provide any reliability. You could have to have add reliability at the apl application there if you want to use UDP and provide reliability. But if you, in general, if you want to have a reliable transport protocol, people just use TCP in place of UDP. And we'll discuss TCP in a later video. Okay, so let's look at the UDP segment. UDP segment has some header information. We're basically going to look at the header. There are four important he <coughs> header fields. One is the source port, one is the destination port, and the next is the length which is the length in bytes of the UDP segment, including the header. So the source port is basically the source port of the sender, the destination port is the destination port of the, of the recipient. And the length is, as I mentioned, is the length of this UDP segment, including the header. Then there is a checksum field, which we'll discuss in the next slide, which is mainly there to detect errors uh, in this UDP, UDP, day, 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 UDP segment. Okay, so, before I conclude, I just want to quickly mention why we have UDP because there's no connection establishment, it's simple, and there's no con congestion control, which we'll discuss later in a uh, in our in one of the lectures. UDP can you can just blast away at whatever sp speed that you desire. Okay, so the, now let's we'll briefly discuss in the next two slides what the UDP checksum is. UDP checksum is there to detect errors and the way it, uh, it does is the sender, <clears throat> what it does is it treats the segments including the header fields as a sequence of 16 bits. Okay, Then you, the addition of the different segment contents are is put in the checksum. And when I say that the addition, what I mean is a once complement sum. That is what is put in the UDP checksum. Okay, and after this is done, the sender sends the UDP segment over. When the receiver receives the UDP segment, it computes the checksum of the re of the received segment. And if this checksum that the receiver computes is equal to the checksum of the field, then then it means that there is no error because the two checksums have matched. The UDP <laughs> segment can now be delivered to the application there. If there is a difference, then there is some error. And so, and then the, uh, the UDP segment can be discarded if needed. Okay, so let's look at the UDP checksum. So here are two 16-bit uh, integers. Remember that the UD, it treats the header all the entire UDP segment as 16-bit sequences. So here are two 16-bit integers. So and the way you do this in the, in, the, in the checksum is you add these two integers. So I hope all, most of all of you know how to add binary uh, binary numbers. So here we are adding 0 and 1, which gives 1. 1 and 0 is going to give you 1. 1 and 1 is going to give you a 0 with a 1 that is carried over. And then that you add that to the two zeros, that's 1, and you keep going on. If you do this entire, add uh, these two integers, what's going to happen is there's going to be 1, 1 that's wrapped around. Okay, there's a 1 that's extra that's wrapped around, and you add that to this this resultant so for example what this one is going to be added to this number out here okay so if you add that you're going to get zero zero one one and it's going to go on so this is basically the sum so once you have the sum 
you basically have to compute the two's complement. That is what is put in the checksum. But by two's complement, you just invert every bit. That is what a two's complement. So the zeros are converted to ones and the ones are converted to zeros. Okay. And then this is what you put in the checksum. With this, we'll conclude our discussion on UDP. And in the, in the next lecture, we'll be talking about TCP. Thank you.